We have so far agreed that uh, requirements from different users on statistical data are uh, increasing. They need more and more statistical data, uh, including complete metadata, which is uh, crucial for them uh, to understand statistics and also for us, for producers of official statistics, to make sure our users that uh, provided data is relevant and high quality. Uh, unfortunately, we statisticians are not always in a position to satisfy requirements uh, on statistical data. And why? The answer is very simple, because resources are limited. That's why we need to draft priorities, which will be acceptable not only for the government, also for a wide range of uh, different users. Nowadays, global interest uh, to the data is increasing. Uh, uh, to the data, which is the key to measure uh, progress on implementations. Uh, you know, uh, these numbers come from different surveys and numerous administrative sources, which is managed in most cases by NSOs. But at the same time, from past experience, we also learned that these traditional data collection methods and even administrative data sources may not be sufficient to address the increased demand on statistical data. Uh, this, is, this is one of the main reasons uh, why do we need to develop and uh, um, test the use of new data sources and modern technologies for production of official statistics, such as big data, such as scanner data, web scrapping, uh, and et cetera. Um, the new data ecosystem uh, provides us uh, possibility for filling exi existing data gaps. But at the same time, it is not easy to play coordinated role uh, in data collection and dissemination process because it requires uh, usually additional resources and additional efforts. Also issues on protection of individual data um, and um, uh, issues related confidentiality uh, is noteworthy, uh, which is in our case in Georgia regulated by the law on official statistics of Georgia and by the law uh, on personal data protection as well. But for better utilization of public and private data uh, for decision making and for policy execution, I think uh, at first stage there is a need to define concrete rules and obligations of relevant institutions involved in national statistical system. Uh, except this, more support is needed from the government. Uh, usually, national statistical offices are professionally independent bodies, but they are not able to solve existing problems independently. 